And so you're going to go to them and you're going to say, I want to get a digital impression system. And they're going to say, well, doc, you know, the reason you need a digital impression system is your patients hate impressions. And you're going to sit there and go, yeah, I guess so. And then you think about this. You have a patient coming in for a crown. You have the nerve to use Novocaine, which they hate. You need drilling them, which they hate. And after that, then you say, I'm going to put some slop in your mouth at the end of that whole thing. And they just go, I hate the whole thing. So yeah, they hate impressions. Now, of course, we have people who are gaggers, et cetera, et cetera, and they do hate impressions. They hate coming to the dentist anyway. So the digital scanners are very, very good for patients who absolutely are uh, phobic in, in terms of that. And also, if you think about it, if you have to take impressions of someone with mobile teeth and you're always worrying what the heck is going to happen if I take that impression and take a few teeth out with it, with the digital, you can get away with that sort of thing. So in my own practice, we use both. We use all sorts of impression materials, including alginate. And I learned a, t a technique with alginate so it won't go down the patient's throat by using some blue wax in the back. And these are my two failures of two patients who didn't give a darn about impressions. This is an old guy, about 92 years old. I took this impression, was talking to him. I took it out and went, whew, he never blinked an eye. And not two weeks later, a, a lady was in there. And I took that nice impression and also didn't blink an eye. So these people don't hate impressions. Uh, so I've, I've been talking about this for a long time, and I have a friend named Ken Reed. He's an anesthesiologist, a dental anesthesiologist in, uh, I think he's in Arizona. Nice, nice guy. He said, Paul, you want to see an impression? My, my, my residents were taking impressions on patients.